will be no more in Lowell. In the midst of the national debate on how history should be recognized, city officials have decided the Lowell Showboat, a mainstay along the Flat River for decades, will no longer be named after the Confederate general. 24 Hour News 8's Joe Lafergi is live in Lowell tonight with reaction to the decision. Joe? Well, Lowell will get a new showboat sometime next year. The name will come off the old showboat sometime in the next few days. The decision drawing praise from some. I think it should be taken off. I, the way the times are today, or the days they are, it's time to change. Criticism from others. Robert E. Lee, it's Robert E. Lee. It's a person in history, and it's all things you remember, whether it's good, bad, or whatever. The Lowell Showboat came to be as a way to attract people to town during the Great Depression. Early on, Lowell leaders decided to build a more authentic boat, reminiscent of the classic river boats that sailed the Mississippi. At that point, came up with the name Robert E. Lee based on a boat that they had seen down there. Fast forward to 2017. The current showboat is in major disrepair. The name on the boat's in the middle of a major national debate. Lowell's city manager released a statement today noting a committee was already considering renaming the new boat and reacting to the controversy, saying while most of West Michigan refers to it simply as the Lowell Showboat, we recognize that the name is offensive to many. We will be taking steps this week to remove the name on the boat. In a special room inside the Lowell Historical Museum sets a model of one of the showboats. The name will remain on the replica. It was a piece of history as the Robert E. Lee for 70 years on our river. But Plank believes both the current and new boat, which will likely be named after someone local who was part of the showboat's history, doesn't hold the same historic value. Was the Lowell showboat a direct correlation to a statue in the South? I don't personally see it that way. But, you know, we're, we're looking at rebuilding our showboat, and it's a good time for us to look back on our own history as well. Lowell City Manager Mike Burns was out of town. No one else in City Hall was available for an on-camera comment on today's decision. Live in Lowell, Joel Lafergie, 24-Hour News 8.